Hi, happy Wednesday and welcome to New Wave Traders. We're going to be diving into Bitcoin in this video, taking a look at the bull and the bear counts, as well as the invalidations as to when one count is confirmed over the other and crucial inflection points. These inflection points will be where probability shifts to more bullish versus more bearish. We're going to be focusing on the smaller time frames underneath four hours today. If you're interested in the more macro counts, four day and above. Monday's video that I uploaded on 12.5 is available in the first half of it to go over the macro counts for Bitcoin and ETH. We're going to do a quick update on the video released Monday as well as a quick recap on it and see how price is fulfilled in since then. And then we'll work on the projections moving forward. If this is your first time on the channel, then welcome. My name is Shiler. I'm a full-time trader in the crypto market since 2017, and I'm focused on becoming the industry leader and creating successful traders. So if you're struggling to see results, check out the links down in the description below to see if New Wave Traders is a good fit for you. Without further ado, let's dive in. You can see we posted this video on 12.5 down here and ultimately what we're looking for, it might look a little confusing just as this is a screenshot here that's going on, but we had three scenarios. We had either a running flat that was taking place here and looking for this to pivot upwards for a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two count. The other option here was depending on how we reacted at this zone here, we we're looking for a dead cap bounce and then further continuation towards our demand block right about 16.5K. And lastly, we had if this rejection took place that was very hard without finding any sort of a dead cap bounce or even a reaction at the 16.8K low here, then there's a good chance it was a wave one and we're looking for a very fast drop towards the downside. So right now we're dealing with the current drop and we're gonna take a look at whether or not we're due for the impulse towards the downside or if we're gonna correct more controlled for the red ABC and look to pivot back towards the upside there. We talked about an opportunity for a short off of this B wave here too if our first drop was five waves which it most likely would given that every single count that we had here has a higher probability of starting with five waves. So we'll also talk about potential short setup there and where current price is at and if there are other opportunities to present themselves as well. So we'll start off here on Bitcoin with what would have been the running flat count. And ultimately we did see a little bit of a reaction here, but we went too far sideways and just ended up doing more of an ABC structure. I'm actually gonna talk about how I traded into this move for a short move towards the downside here as well, so that hopefully individuals can pick up a few tips from it. Ultimately, due to the amount of time that wave two here is taking in our subwave count, we can go ahead and get rid of the one, two, one, two scenario towards the upside now. Looks like we're either dealing with a diagonal here or an ABC structure. Two weeks ago, we talked about sandwiching ABC structure here where we hit a one-to-one -one extension of our wave A here and then look for a rejection back towards the downside. Given that we had a bigger rally on this move here, that shifted things to where we were liking for a sideways consolidation for further upside movement versus this moving down impulsively. Although this is not invalid, the probability for this count has decreased. My main count and bias overall is the leading diagonal. This does qualify for an ending diagonal as well, and so far the rejection does count as a 1212 as well. This is where I actually traded into the short here that we can talk a little bit about. If we zoom into this here, I'm on a one hour time frame. If you notice the amount of time that we took sideways here, it typically imitates more of a B wave when we do that. And so when we got a one to one extension of this leg here, we got rejected and I traded into that rejection, basically treating this as a liquidity grab. You had a previous range that was broken towards the upside, take out the previous high at 17,093, and then reject back down into that range. Ultimately, I was looking for this to reject down to the one-to-one, -one, but due to how far, how much time we spent moving sideways here, I ended up exiting the position here at about 16,800. You can see that posted here in the Discord as well. Entry in at 17,019 and exit out at 16,813. So just quick little scalp that was pre-set up overnight. So it was completely hands off as well. You can see that some others caught some shorts as well. In fact, our biggest one was really more so the ETH short, but we did have a Galaxy that flipped and went short on Bitcoin as well and snagged up that scalp. So nice job, man. What does this mean for us moving forward overall? Well, simply we're looking for a reaction here that suggests that this is gonna become a three wave move versus a one, two, one, two towards the downside. This is actually a really big trade that could happen if we're able to snag it up, depending on how the wave structure unfolds here. What we're looking for is gonna be a wave one, two, three, four, five. So between these two different counts, we have an inflection point that's basically where probability shifts and then a 100% validation. Anytime we deal with one, two, one, two, we want wave two to use the previous wave one as support and kick off of it. 
So in this case, we want it to act as resistance and push towards the downside, since we're looking for a more bearish move here. That means that our trade setup should look something like this, and we'd be looking for overextended wave structures towards the downside. Now, anytime we deal with a 1212, probability lies in the favor of it being an ABC, not a 1212. But anytime that you can capitalize on it, actually taking advantage of a 1212, you get a massive risk reward ratio that's very profitable. As such, you can afford to take several losses at being wrong at it and have the winner still make up for them plus some. The other thing that we can look for here too is for this move to ultimately create a descending wedge where we get a leading diagonal out of this. That way would bring us down to our one to one target at 16,608 and then allow for a pivot towards the upside. In which case a leading diagonal would have to be the start of something. We'd look, treat it as the A wave of a zigzag. So I'd look for something like this to take place, get rid of the ABC in green, just have a leading diagonal and then look for the B wave pivot. On the four hour time frame, the bigger picture here is that we're simply treating this move as the start of something and we're showing a controlled bull back, ideally one with a big B wave here that shows a sign of strength that comes back into this demand block. Ideally, we do not want to come in our 100% validation is ultimately gonna be our previous wave too low here and us getting rejected back into this previous range that we broke out of. That means if we don't get the one, two, one, two and this trade ends up being wrong or we get the leading diagonal, this trade would need to be adjusted accordingly to compensate for the new invalidation levels and we'd be looking for our B wave rally here. That would offer another opportunity to short into the market here, as well as some scalp trades internally inside of the B wave, but those are much more advanced. I don't recommend it for newer traders that are developing their skill set. Overall, this is likely going to be taking a little bit of time because this first leg here is too fast of a correction to be correcting this entire five wave move. Therefore, it's the first leg of something with high probability and we're gonna be looking to create more of a sideways range here. And really the next determining factor is gonna be how big this B wave gets to show us a sign of strength. First area of resistance will really be this wave two at 17,110 so that we don't move above that. That'll be a little bit sign of weakness. If we can move past it, that's where our inflection point will be and probability will shift that we're much more bullish overall. This leading diagonal can be the wave one of an impulse towards the downside as well. So even though we could be sitting with this ABC in red, we do wanna be cautious that this completely rejects towards the downside as well. I'll keep you updated on this channel though, so make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and all next to it so you get notified when I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you've enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to hit the like button and share it on your other social platforms and trading discords that you're a part of as it greatly helps grow the channel. Some pretty exciting pivots ahead because if we can hold the sideways ABC in red, then we're looking for a pretty big move towards the upside that's likely to break over 18.3 and 19K, which is our higher four day inflection point for an even larger move beyond that up into 30K. So some big things ahead of us, depending on how we react down here on the smaller time frames, uh, four hour and below, depending on whether we go sideways or we reject back into and underneath $16,032 or find support and hold above 16.6K. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you in Fridays.